what is up youtube um so today i thought i'd do a little um update video um replying to a few emails that i got um i've been getting a lot of messages about hexadecimal and i thought i'd clarify some things and uh help you guys better understand what exactly this is so number one this software is not an operating system I mean, at one point, I might, I really wanted to be, but um, at this current stage, it's pretty much just a software overlay uh, that pretty much just runs on top of Windows. So all you get is the feel of a new environment, and it comes packed with a lot of features, but we'll get to that in a minute. Another email that I typically get is, why can I not download it? Um, that's, I've tried to explain that in the descriptions in my website, but I guess people just don't get it. Okay, so, I've used third-party libraries when creating this thing. Now, if I am to distribute the software with these third-party libraries, um, I need to pay, um, I need to pay these companies distribution rights. Now, to get these distribution rights... You have to pay money and only after that can I freely distribute the software. Now if I distribute the software without paying them these distribution rights, it is illegal and I will pretty much go to prison if they find out that I've distributed the software. I can do it for personal use like what I'm doing now but once I start putting it on the internet and letting people download it, then it becomes a problem. So if you notice on my website, there is a donate page that has been running for a very long time now, but I guess people just really don't have money to be donating. And I understand that, but until I really raise uh, the funds for the software, I really can't let people download it. I hope that gave a little clarification. Now enough talk about money. That's not what this video is for. Number three, what does this baby do all right so if you look on the left we've got the application drawer where we've got a bunch of uh, pre-installed apps uh, that i have pretty much uh, designed and are included in the software i'm working on a uh, app store but that's not working yet and uh, that will pretty much allow you to uh, download third-party apps and help you guys be able to uh, make your own programs that work in this thing so we've got that and to the right we've got uh, these so these are pretty much shortcuts to um, options that you can perform like notifications um, social notifications Bluetooth um, Wi-Fi battery volume and power options uh, what else let me just give you a little quick rundown of other things you can do for example this is not Windows a window skin uh, none, none of this that you're seeing is skinning um, it's pretty much everything is built from the ground up everything is was designed from scratch so um, I tried to give it a unique feel but not straight too far away from Windows so um, users will be like what the heck am I using so like if you've been browsing through folders everything is different it's not gonna look like Windows because it pretty much kind of isn't somewhat but yeah I get, I, you get the idea so another cool thing that this can do is it can multitask so over there it's loading I can open calculator um, I can open um, hex player and all that good stuff and you can even minimize these apps and you will notice up at the top they're right there I know. Uh, there are a lot of these virtual operating systems, uh, what people like to call them. And um, what differentiates mine from a lot of them is mine is really packed with a lot of features. Um, like you can force close apps. Um, you have the ability to have a, for example, let me show you. You've got your writer. This is the equivalent of a notepad. If you want to open programs, boom, there it is. It uh, creates a little blur effect. I thought it was pretty cool. Then you can actually open files. You can actually filter files by their type, which is pretty cool. 
um now i don't really don't want to make this video too long because i honestly cannot go through everything in one video so if you like this you could ask me in the description below to maybe show you more stuff or uh, elaborate more on something you noticed something that i might have passed way too fast but uh before i go uh let me just show you two more things one is the terminal um the terminal is pretty much the equivalent of um ubuntu is it, no linux terminal um it's a terminal that i designed myself all the commands these are not um command prompt commands um these commands i have uh, made them myself so for instance mx for maximize lsd for list directories lsf list files clear um, help to view the help of course um, you can see the date you can see the computer id you can see computer info um, you can see the lprm this clears our printer jobs you can see mem for memory shows you a computer memory its state um you can uh, what else can you do pwd to print working directory you can actually change directory like cd um s let me see cd windows and there you go in the windows directory cd system 32 lsf Clear help MX. All that good stuff. Um you can actually do uh more advanced commands like now um another cool thing that you can do is actually add repositories um where you can download new commands, um uh repositories for applications or so for instance I could say uh, hex pp dash get test so what it does is it will connect to uh, hexadecimal servers and download the repository you mentioned. Now it needs you to sign into the HexCloud account. Um, every owner um, of hexadecimal will have one, but since I really don't have any money right now, I can't create any fully fledged um, cloud servers. So all these free ones are not secure, so I'm gonna wait on that to see if I can get any funding. Another cool thing I can go mx-fl. This will create pretty much an equivalent of DOS, which is pretty cool in my opinion, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, that's awesome. So just to take take it off mx-fl. You can set color to let's say it's a color three, set color one, set color two. That's pretty cool. Alright, one last thing. Can you customize hexadecimal? Heck yes. So pre-installed in hexadecimal you would get Skinner now Skinner is pretty much like what the name says it's pretty much installing skins on hexadecimal so for example I'm going to browse here go to skins and these are just uh, some of the skins I designed I was just uh, giving them a go actually I don't remember. let's use the ones in the downloads okay so this classic Mac OS modern Ubuntu Windows 98 and Windows XP. So, um, for example, I could try using the Ubuntu skin. You hit open, applies the skin. Yes, right. So you get your uh, cursor changed. You get your, um, let's open my computer. You get that changed. Um, you get the sound changed and the wallpaper changed um, it doesn't really do too much at this point but I'm working on that another cool um, let's try 
um, Windows 98. Yes, please. We've got the cursors and all that good stuff. Ugh, beautiful. Uh huh. Um, like I said, it really doesn't change much right now. Let's do one more uh, Windows XP. Oh, that didn't change the cursor. Oh well. Can be perfect now, can it? And we turn to classic. And there we go. Um, that's it for this video at this point. Um, I really can't do too much. Um, that will be too long of a video. Like I said, if you want to see more or have any questions or make me want to do another video, I would do so gladly. Um, I didn't have my computer, so. It's been a lot of, a lot more difficult to be making other videos, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just leave me a comment, uh, send me a message, whatever. I'll get back to you and tell me what you think. Until next time, guys. Peace out.